creative industries. We've all heard of them, but many people have the wrong idea of what exactly they are and how challenging professions in this category can be. Sure we can look up the definition, but I wanted to ask three people who have dedicated their lives to their passion and ask about their everyday routines pushing to get into their desired industries. Hi, I'm Yolanda Mitchell. I'm a 19-year-old actress from Glasgow and I go to the Royal Conservatory of Scotland. Hi, I'm Neona Stroke. I'm 18 years old. I'm studying a BA Honours at Gamta for Musical Theatre. My name's Eddie Boyce. Um, I run a monthly ambient radio show um, of original music on a radio station that my friends run called VIP Mix. The creative world can be challenging and hard going. A typical day in my course would probably be um, from 9 to 1 we would have voice and movement classes. So you'd have a two hour voice class and a two hour movement class. A movement class can either be with our movement instructors Lucien and Benedicta or acrobatics and um, dance, which is fun. And a voice class could consist of either accents and dialects, technical voice work or singing. Even training for these professions requires long hours of work and dedication. We usually start out with um, the recording. I'll go around and it, it varies from episode to episode. Like I start sort of sketching musical things um, and then once I've got a load of like disparate uh, little bites, then you start the process of threading together. I'm at Ganta Monday to Friday and I'm there 9 to 5 every day. And typically I'll do all three of the disciplines, so singing, acting, dancing and we get lots of different classes, so we'll get group singing, private singing lessons, ballet, tap, jazz, contemporary, heels class, acting class, and we won't get all of these in one day, but we will get a variation of one of the three. I was inspired to go here because I found it when I was 14 online and realised there was actually somewhere that did acting and it wasn't totally theatre based, it was all just technical, how to act rather than totally being theatre or musical theatre or something like that. But what pushed me to apply for it was I seen train spotting at the Citizens Theatre and two of the best actors I would say in that play both went here and I actually had the pleasure of working with one of the girls, Chloe Ann Tyler, who was my assistant director in my first year play. I started out just taking field recordings and wanting to just play them back to back, um, but then I started making music on top of it and I found that um, it, I really liked the combination of making music and recording sound and sort of layering them on top of each other. I asked the group what it was that inspired them to take the leap and follow their hearts and pursue their dreams. Here's what they had to say. I decided to take the leap and do this because I knew I would be miserable doing anything else. I was going to do politics and sociology at Strathclyde University and decided against it because what is the point in doing something that I don't like for the rest of my life than possibly be skinned for a bit. What inspired me to start this, my, my friend Sam said I'm starting a radio station and would you like to um, would you like to have a show on it? And so I was, he was like, the way he pitched it to me was really, he was like, no concept is too strange, mate. I was like, okay. When I did get to that age when I was in high school where I was needing to make choices about my career, I remember there being quite a lot of pressure from my mum and dad because they weren't sure about following that, that kind of creative path as opposed to a more steady career path as they put it and it was making me quite anxious as well thinking about it and maybe I should have just kept musical theatre as a hobby but then it was, I kind of hit the epiphany that when I'm on a stage performing is when I feel the most at home and I get such an adrenaline rush in being in front of an audience that I don't get from anything else in life. I asked our interviewees what they would say to someone who was looking to join the same industry as them and they were all so lovely about what they had to say. I would say to younger people that want to go into this, just try, just do it, what's the worst that's going to happen? If you apply for drama school and you don't get in, that's, that is the worst that's going to happen. It's 
the world is still gonna turn, the earth is still gonna rise and set. You can still find your way. If it's meant to happen, it will happen. So just go for it. I do know that the best decision I made was just following my heart instead of my head, which does sound cringy, but I know that if I didn't do anything, if I'd done anything else that wasn't performing, then I wouldn't have enjoyed life and wouldn't have got the thrill out of it that I'm getting when I'm doing my course. So if this is what you want to do, then don't let anyone get in your path and you just be determined and you have drive and you have confidence and you have individuality and there's nothing standing in your way. There's, you can just pirate some music software. Like if you have, um, if you have access to a computer and an internet connection, like you can make just amazing music. There's no real barrier to entry anymore. There's a really good Dave Grohl quote where he talks about like, Nirvana got started with just four of us just getting together in a garage and sucking for fucking five years. Um, so just get together and suck for a bit and then get good. You can really see that they're so passionate about what they want to do and they really want other people to follow their hearts and pursue their dreams too. So go for it. Be an actor, be a musician. You do you because what have you got to lose?